Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Java serialization with ICA relationship inheritance. Here you can see employee class which extends uh, person class. So employee is a person. So it is uh, ICA relationship. If person class implements uh, serializable interface, then automatically all of its subclasses will also be a serializable. So in this case, employee class also be a serializable because uh, employee class extends person class. Here I have defined a person class which implements a serializable interface. It has uh, two fields, name and age, and it has a person constructor which accept uh, name and age. And uh, I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for these two fields. Person class implements a serializable interface, so all of its subclasses will also be a serializable. Here I have defined a employee class which extends a person class. Person class implements a serializable, so automatically employee class also be a serializable. And it has one field which is salary, and I have defined getter and setter methods for salary field. And it has a employee constructor which accept name, age, and salary. Using this constructor, we can create a employee object. Here I have defined the class serialization demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have created a serialization demo object. Then I am calling a write employee object method. Inside write employee object method, I have created object output stream object using object output stream constructor which accept output stream output stream i am passing as file output stream here i have created file output stream object using file output stream constructor which accept file name file name is employee.temp here i have created employee object in employee constructor i am passing name as peter age as 29 and salary as 80,000. Then using uh, write object method of uh, object output stream, I am writing uh, employee object to employee dot uh, temp file. Inside finally block, I am closing uh, object output stream. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. Successfully written employee object to the file. The file is uh, employee.temp. I am refreshing this project. Here you can see employee.temp file is created. And uh, it contains uh, employee object content. Next we will see how to deserialize and uh, reconstruct the employee object. Here I have defined the class uh, deserialization demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have created a deserialization demo object. Then I am calling a read employee object method. Inside read employee object method, I have created a object input stream object using object input stream constructor which accept a input stream. Input stream I am passing as a file input stream. Here I have created a file input stream object using file input stream constructor which accept a file name file name is employee.temp then i am calling a read object method of object input stream this read object method will read employee information from employee.temp file and recreate the employee object then i am displaying the employee information Inside finally block, I am closing uh, object input stream. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. Successfully read uh, employee object from the file. And uh, here you can see the employee information. 
name is peter age 29 and uh, salary is uh, 80000 and uh, this is about uh, java serialization with uh, ec relationship in your returns and uh, thanks for watching